Okay. In the beginning, there lived a successful family who owned a Fortune 500 corporation called Pride Rock Inc. This corporation was run by a very charismatic leader named Mufasa. Mufasa was a direct descendant of Rockefeller. When Mufasa was a young boy, his father, Mr. Rockefeller, had told his employees the heir to the Pride Rock Inc. company was Mufasa. So Mufasa hoped to be able to do that with his son Simba. As Mufasa gathered around all his employees to witness their new heir to the Pride Rock Inc. company, everyone was happy except for one guy. His name was Scar. Scar was Mufasa's adopted brother and believed that Pride Rock Inc. should be given to him rather than Mufasa's son named Simba. Simba is the novice who has aspirations to be just like his father and gain the respect of all his employees. Simba's father decided to give Simba a managerial role within the company so that so that way he can develop his leadership and management skills. Mufasa hoped that Simba would develop some experience as an entrepreneur, negotiator, and disturbance handler. As Mufasa, as Mufasa walks with Simba to show all the assets that Pride Rock Inc. owns, he also tries to teach Simba about general environment and social cultural forces. Look Simba, this is an open system. Every asset you see serves a purpose and a value to Pride Rock. But Dad, how do you make sure that everyone listens? Every employee knows that there's a line of authority and a span of control. Simba, what I want you to realize is that managing these animals won't be easy. Sometimes you have to figuratively eat up your employees due to low profits. I promise that I will be the best manager ever. You'll see.